What is special about this process is that we're doing on scrim. So if you look at the fabric, it's actually woven and has holes in it. So my paint cannot be so thick that we plug these holes because otherwise we've ruined the effect that we're going for. So what we did was we sprayed our background green and now we're going in re-registering the stencil exactly as we sprayed it and then going in for the accent colors. And we had masked where the green overlapped with it so that we can get a clear color then when we come over with this. So we go ahead and we paint our accent colors on and then we take our blower and on finished ones, we have to blow out the thick paint so that we keep the fabric open and can keep that effect. Cool, and where are these going, Nicole? These are going in specific sections of the walls that he has recessed slightly so that you can see a pattern in the wall. And in Margot's bedroom? Yes. I'm guessing with the feminine little flowers. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. How many of these panels are you doing? We have around 12 to 14 various sizes of panels. Wow. This is our largest size and some of our smallest sizes are like two feet by three feet. Cool. And you had to put up this tent so that we didn't get mess all over the place, right? Yes. <laughs> that is, this is our faux spray booth. <laughs> you can do a spray tan in here too, right? Yes. Okay, because cool. we don't have a real spray booth. And if you look at the ground, you can see based on the color uh -huh. that this is what happens when you spray and it goes everywhere. <laughs> Hence the need for all of these walls. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. Awesome.